All right. Um, welcome back. Uh, okay. Um, so, last time we were here, it took me about a billion hours, aka six minutes, to realize that the only way to open a chest uh, is apparently with scissors. Uh, metal locks can be done with scissors. And there's a fire truck going by my house. And an ambulance going by my house. Um, great. Alright, so, um, I forgot to actually look last time at what the new paper was. Paper from casket, alright. Wait, how do I read it? I want to read it. Read. Is there a way to read it here? Documentation? No. Okay. Huh. Alright, well, I guess I don't know what this paper from Casket is. I wonder if I can give it to this bitch who won't let me in. <laughs> yeah, 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 I forgot. I want to talk to him. Hear this. Sorry, <laughs> but this oh man, those faces. Now. Jeez, doesn't get me. Uh, it just doesn't. It freaks me out, kind of. Um, has it begun? The family entrance had arrived. His highness, the exile, has returned from the hunt, as usual. <laughs> and Monsieur the King's brother is already present, along with the Duke of Maine. Great. So, what am I supposed to do? Do I give paper to him? No, that does not work. Give a plain piece of paper. Nope. Give a pamphlet <laughs> of on the arts to him. Nope. Fantastic. Okay, so for some reason I'm not allowed in the king's chambers because he's dressing and apparently I'm not worthy to see his butt ugly body. So um now we really don't have much of a choice. Um, I looked at these paintings already. Pretty much checked everything. I hate games like these. Honestly, I'm really glad we moved away from point-and-click games like this where you just don't know. Hover your mouse on everything. Trying to find some way to just get through the level or whatever you want to call it. Out, out, I want out. I want to go. Get out of Versailles. It's like a compound. I mean, really, honestly, when you think about it, that's what it was. Louis XIV was so scared. He had like 2,000, 3,000 people of the court stuck with him so they wouldn't do shit. I would be terrified if I was part of his court and being like, okay, I'm stuck to this place. Like, that's sketch. If you do something like that nowadays, you'd have people complaining and being concerned about their well-being like we are in North Korea. <laughs> but no, back then it was totally appropriate. Oh wait, shoot, I didn't mean to go down here, I wasn't thinking. Great. Do I still have those scissors? No, no. the scissors broke on that freaking casket as they called it. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, maybe I can read that paper upstairs where that candle was. That'd be really annoying if that's what you have to do, I swear. Not logical. I wonder if the teachers at my school at Hoshombo decided to just buy this game because they knew none of us would ever get far in this game because seriously they'd give us like five minutes at most to play it and that's no way you're gonna finish the game or even get anywhere significant. Like, uh, it's been 10 minutes and I still can't figure out what to do past these few rooms. Alright, let's try it. Paper from casket. No, oh, alright. Hawk and the little birds. The hawk and the little birds. <laughs> okay. Um... It's a transformed paper. What was that eye thing that popped up? Oh, 
I saw it already. Well, that's lovely. What do I do with this? Do I give it to that usher? That's really the only other person around. Ugh, this is so much fetching that you have to do. This is ridiculous. I wonder what the hawk and the little birds mean. Does he mean the big painter and all of the little loser painters that he was complaining about that he didn't like? Oh, the door's open. Holla! Alright, well I guess the king finally dressed himself with the help of everyone else but himself. Great. Let's see, can I do anything here? No. 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 Okay, let's kiss him. The court is attending the robing of the king. Monsieur Bonton said not to disturb him. <sighs> For crying out loud. What stage have the king's ceremonies reaches? Covering up his massive booty. How soon shall the king leave the salon? I've seen nothing of the sort. No. <laughs> um. I presume the king is being dressed. No shit, Sherlock. That's the whole point of this thing. Jeez, you dummy. Let me see. At this time, the king's toilet is ending. <laughs> Great. It then takes a light collation. I should say in about uh, 15 minutes. Awesome, but I have a bomb that's going to explode, so that's not helpful. Oh, very well. You may pass. Hmm. Good. Screw you. <laughs> that was act one. Fantastic. Maybe this game is actually easier to beat than I thought. Rest assured, King has spoken of sending Monsieur de Dura to the Duke de la Force. I assure you, he will not obtain the Duke's convert. <laughs> the King's rising from bed ceremony ended with his ablutions. Before the eyes of the courtiers That's admitted, so ridiculous. That is a massive pimp robe we got right there. Before putting on his shawl. <laughs> then room was made for the king to proceed to the salon for the robing ceremony. The what? The what? Authorized courtiers joined the company while his majesty partook of a light collation. Each hoped for a glance from the king inquired after his health and listened to or spread the rumors of the day. The king, exposed to the public, performed his usual role. He was shaved, washed, and then dressed. Great, I don't care. We already saw this. Okay. Once dressed, the king returned to his bedchamber for a brief morning prayer. Once he had said his prayers, the king, followed by his ministers, went to the council chamber where matters concerning the kingdom were discussed. Fantastic. So we still got two people here. They're probably gonna seizure talk to me again. Very nice. Who's that? Oh, oh. Karachi. Nice. Il Domenico. No, oh, Il Domenichino. Excuse me. Chino. <laughs> uh, yep. Studied all this stuff in art history class. Not super what? thrilled um, with this style. It's very Baroque. That girl's like, oh my god, come on, naked baby. Like, just hold it up the right way, you fuck. <laughs> okay, um. Let's talk. Oh, wait. Yeah, here. Ears, ears. Who are they? Prince de Condé, Louis de Bourbon. Fantastic. Oh, it's the same dude from earlier. Alright, well. I assure you, my lord. <laughs> That in a few days, Lebrun is to present a crucified Christ of his own composition to the king. But didn't his rival Mignard do a painting with the same theme very recently? 
Yes, indeed, my lord, he did. The rivalry between the two painters borders on the ridiculous. All for art's sake, of course. Of course. But never mind these artist quarrels. We rarely see you in court, my lord. Are you finding tiring of Chantilly? Alas, I am come again to plead the cause of the Prince of Conti and his brother. I fear lest his majesty hold them in disgrace on their return from Hungary. Why is he the only I one that has a French country. accent? <laughs> That's confusing. Alright, well, that'll be it for this video. Um, we will figure out what the heck is going on in this f stupid palace next time. Alright, peace out.